We know that people like staying in their own homes as they age and they don't like moving out to other homes. That's really what smart care is designed to do is to use technology to help older adults stay safe healthy and independent as long as possible. We teamed up with nursing here um, who deal a lot with people in order to look at that, to look at how can we use technology that can help healthcare and nursing and how can we integrate things that they need into the technology we develop. Several technologies that will be integrated will be able to monitor their weight and balance and how much activity they're doing throughout the day because the floor has pressure sensors under every square tile. We don't only want to detect that you've fallen down. That's one thing we can do with the floor and then immediately call help. What we actually want to is we want to predict that you're at an elevated risk and that you probably should take actions, for example, sitting down, that would reduce that risk. Other things that we are looking at in terms of health technologies are behavioral analysis tools, sensors that can assess your breathing patterns and your heart rate while you're sleeping in bed, that can detect events of sleep apnea, then that might get transferred to your doctor if you choose to do so. And he can then provide feedback to you, adjust treatment. We will also have assistive technology, things that can make your life easier, make your life safer. So if you go out of bed, for example, you don't have to turn on lights. There's no reason the apartment can turn on the lights for you. So we've been really very excited about this whole project. And this grand opening is basically gonna be the point in time where we can show this to other people and uh, where we can try to get additional feedback from them, but also kind of show them what's possible. Congressman Barton was instrumental in helping these funds to become available because these are congressional earmark funds. Without his influence and support, it never would have happened. It's been a kind of a fun process to go through and it's liberating in some ways. You don't just see things through your own discipline. You learn new ways to do things. Computers, algorithms, have moved into every aspect of life. When we have students here, clearly a computer science student will learn all of the computer science aspects. However, that is no longer sufficient. If they go out into the world, companies will have to deal with products that are usable by people, that address problems people have. So what we're trying to do is involve them in research, involve them in multidisciplinary activities earlier on so that when they come out, they basically know how to deal with it. And that helps them to be stronger and, and a better, more marketable product at the end of their academic career because they have already interfaced with multiple disciplines. They're confident in their ability to talk and relate to others. To me, that would make them a much more marketable product looking for their first job after they leave UT Arlington.